More than 120 members of Congress signed a letter to Defense Secretary James Mattis criticizing the Pentagon's policy to disqualify most transgender people from serving in the military. That's right. Two members from Hampton Roads have signed that letter. 13 News Now reporter Mike Gooding spoke to them. Mike. Well, that is right, uh, Janet and, and Regina. Democrat Bobby Scott says the transgender ban is deeply flawed and it needs to be reversed. You might suggest. The former Marine Corps General James Mattis testified before Congress in April that there were substantial risks related to transgender people serving in the military and their presence could potentially undermine troops readiness and disrupt unit cohesion. In the new letter, 121 lawmakers reject what they call the discriminatory ban on transgender troops except under limited circumstances and call on Mattis to reverse his recommendations. Among those signing the letter, 4th District Representative Donald McEachin and 3rd District Representative Bobby Scott. They were all serving without any problem before the president decided without any evidence uh, to kick them out of the service. He came up with an excuse of huge medical expenses and that's turned out to be bogus. The letter points out that the American Medical Association, American Psychiatric Association, and American Psychological Association have expressed opposition to the ban. Stacy Walls Beagle is CEO of the LGBT Life Center in Norfolk. She applauds the letter. So I think it's important to look that over time there were different populations that were not welcomed in the, in the armed forces. So African Americans, women, lesbians, and gays. And I think it has not affected our readiness to have those people in the armed forces today. And I don't think that the transgender community is any different. I do not think that it will affect the readiness of our armed forces to have transgender people serving because they serve now. The nonpartisan RAND Corporation in 2016 estimated there were up to 6,600 transgender troops already in the 1.2 million member military, and it said that allowing transgender people to serve in the military would have, quote, minimal impact on readiness and health care costs for the Pentagon. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.